All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. QMBBM balancers for this BYD battery. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, I want to show you where I'm at with this BYD module. This is my third module that I haven't really tested. I only did one discharge of this module last week, and now I have my new balancers hooked up. I'm going ahead and discharging it. I discharged it last night. So doing the first real discharge with the QMBBM balancers. All right, guys, take a closer look at the setup. I've got the QMBBM 8S balancer right there. Basically, each cell has a balance lead coming off. It's going through this fuse block here. I use 12 gauge wire. It's kind of overkill. Coming out to 14 gauge because 12 gauge is actually too big for each slot here. In each slot, I'm actually running a balance lead off the BMS just so I can get the numbers here. So just tapping into that. So the fuse block also has 15 amp fuses individually. That's overkill again. It's all I have on hand, but uh, I'm gonna change those out for 10 amp fuses in the near future. Here's a closer look at the numbers. Under load, the battery's at 24.4 volts, pulling 6.67 amps. About 162 watts being drawn out of the battery, and we have pulled 3.8 kilowatts so far, just over 150 amp hours. So I'm very happy with these numbers. Now the first time I discharged this battery, I only got 50 amp hours out of it. wasn't very happy about that. And the reason was because cell number three was really out of whack. When I charged it up, I couldn't charge the battery past 26.5 volts because cell number three went haywire. And then when I discharged it, cell number three lost all its capacity. The voltage was down to like 2.8 when everything else was around 3.1 volts. Now 50 amp hours at nominal voltage, just over a kilowatt of power. As you saw previously, I'm pulling almost four kilowatts using the balancers. All right guys, just want to mention a few things about these balancers. They may not be appropriate. Uh, for every situation. In my case, if I end up using these BYD batteries on my pool project, I'm only going to be pulling maybe 700 watts, 750 watts total. Divide that by uh, three batteries here. I'm probably only going to be pulling between you know 7 to 10 amps from each battery. So a situation where you're not drawing that much power, the balancers can keep up with uh, with the battery. I think they work, work the best. As you can see in these conditions, I mean, I'm only pulling six amps right now. and Everything seems to be working really well. I think another thing you have to look at is the overall cost for the balancers. These are $150, so they're not cheap. I mean, it's $150 per module. If you have 10 or 12 modules, I mean, that's a lot of money. Um, but in my case, where I only have two or three modules, I mean, it's really looking pretty promising by using this balancer and uh, gonna get a lot more amp hours out. Let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures here when I first started charging the batteries and talk about the voltage. Looking at the screenshot, battery's at 26.1 volts. This is when I was initially charging it. Let's talk a little bit about the sweet spot for these BYD batteries. Most users are finding that uh, when you go over 27 volts, you get some impedance issues and you see the cells starting to spike and go up and the voltages are not the same. That's where the issues happen. So it's usually between 27 and 23 volts is the working range of the BYD batteries. Just to know, if I was not using the QMBBM balancers right now, millivolt difference between the cells would probably be uh, somewhere in the 30 to 50 millivolt range. Right now it's sitting at 10 millivolts between all the cells, which is really good. I was able to bring up the battery to 28.66 volts. I could have gone higher, but that's the range I decided to settle into. One important note to mention is that the cells were about 150 millivolts apart from each other when I hit the 28.6 volts. At this point, I just allowed the QMBBM module to do its work. Eventually, the difference in cell voltage came out to be about 15 millivolts. Now, whenever you put a battery under load, whether you're testing it or using it for real, you're gonna see a voltage drop. Now, the voltage drop for this module, I believe it was around 27.78 volts. It could have been a little bit higher. I may have taken this picture a little bit later. In the end, I have to think that I got a lot more amp hours out of this battery module due to the fact that I was able to discharge the whole voltage range of 27 down to 23. So I got all of 27, all of 26, all of 25, 24, and 23. Whereas if I was just normally discharging this module without the QMBBM module, I would not have been able to charge the module as high as I did. Therefore, I would have charged to 27 volts, saw initial voltage drop, really would have only gotten the full 25, the 24, and the 23 volt range. Alright guys, going to finish up the video. 
pulling 4.1 kilowatt hours, 163 amp hours. Very pleased with adding these balancers, QMBBM to the setup. Definitely getting way more capacity out of the batteries. So again, this may or may not work for your particular situation, depending what you're drawing for your load. But in my case, it may just work. It is $150 if you're buying more than one or two of these. So it does add up quickly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for you. QM BBM balancers for the BYD battery went from 50 amp hours to 163 amp hours. Thanks for watching.